I'll get to this uh, talk over the weekend of a counter-offensive that's, uh, we're told, shortly to be launched by Ukraine. But I read through the transcript of, of your remarks. You got pretty personal about Vladimir Putin. And this all goes back to MH17. Um, not many people sort of muscle up to him. I saw former PM2 Poroshenko was there uh, with you in Ukraine. Do you think that, that, that Putin looks and feels under threat here? Do you think the war's starting to close out? There's no doubt uh, that uh, the Russians have comprehensively failed so far. Uh, still, uh, let's not underestimate what Putin is trying to do. Uh, the Russian dictator is trying to recreate Greater Russia. Uh, and yes, uh, Ukraine is the current target. But if he succeeds in Ukraine, uh, the Baltic states, Georgia, Moldova and indeed Poland are next. Um, and of course, if Putin succeeds in Ukraine, obviously uh, uh, the commissars in Beijing uh, will renew uh, their interest in seizing Taiwan as quickly as possible. This is why what's happening in Ukraine is so important, not just for the people of Ukraine, um, who are under terror attack on a daily basis, uh, but for the wider world, including people here in Australia.